This is Twit. I'm fascinated to know, did Microsoft back down on this, Steve? <laughs> okay, so Tech Power Up's headline read, Microsoft loosens Windows 11 install requirements, TPM 2.0 not needed anymore. And Guru 3D reported this under their headline, Microsoft drops mandatory TPM 2.0 requirements for huh. Windows 11, upgrade now possible without it. Following up on their headline, Tech Power Up began their reporting by writing, Microsoft has finally opened the iron gate guarding the Windows 11 upgrade for systems running incompatible hardware, including systems lacking TPM 2.0. This is excellent news for users who are rocking older systems or have been without the TPM 2.0 module in their system but want to upgrade to the newer OS release. Microsoft opened an official support page, noting that, quote, installing Windows 11 on a device that doesn't meet Windows 11 minimum system requirements isn't recommended. If Windows 11 is installed on ineligible hardware, you should be comfortable assuming the risk of running into compatibility <laughs> issues. A device might malfunction due to these compatibility sure. or other issues. Anything could happen. Oh, Anything. Windows, Windows might have a bug, Leo. What could oh, possibly what? go wrong? <laughs> they said devices that don't meet these system requirements are not guaranteed to receive updates, but limit, including but not limited to security updates. By the way, this oh. reminds me of the pictures of the week with those iron gates and then the muddy paths around the iron gates. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. exactly, uh, yeah. it's not the first time we've heard this either. I mean, no. they've said this before, right? Now, this would obviously be very interesting if it were to be true. Yeah. And I was hoping it was, since I would have welcomed having my rant about this last week rendered invalid due to a policy change. But as we know, I would think that was the right policy change. But it appears that nothing has actually changed. What appears to have happened is that Microsoft has formally acknowledged that it is possible to install Windows 11 around their one-time installation check for TPM 2.0. So they're making the, the you know they're making the consequence of doing that more clear. Uh. It's still puzzling that Windows 11, you know, works just fine with TPM 1.2, even though Microsoft is clearly hoping to frighten most users into purchasing newer hardware. What I'm looking forward to eventually learning, just for the record, is whether and what side effects, if any, or compatibility issues, if any, might actually be encountered. And I'm sure we'll eventually learn that since I have no doubt that many TPM 1.2 machines will be running Windows 11. One thing we do know will happen is that Microsoft will not automatically offer successive feature releases. You know, those, what are they now, twice a year or once a year? Anyway, those things, you know, they, the, the something or other H somethings. They will not automatically offer those to these machines. It will be necessary for users to grab the ISO image file in order for the next feature release in order to move forward. Now, some users might feel that's a benefit. Uh, it might mean they don't need to use in control, you know, my little freeware utility to, to prevent that same thing from happening without their permission. Also, the PC health check will always say that the system does not support Windows 11 even while it's running the health check from within Windows 11. You know, it's like, okay, Microsoft. In any event, users who wish to follow the bouncing ball will need to mount the newer release ISO file and then just run its setup XE in order to manually update their machines to successive feature releases of Windows 11 if they choose to. And I can see that that would make sense for many listeners and i doubt there will actually be you know nothing is going to crumble or fail to work or be incompatible or any of that nonsense you know microsoft you know you know is patching a hundred critical errors every month in windows so it's, it's not like there's you know they've got any extra incompatibility to spare uh but 
again, I just wanted to let our listeners know nothing changed actually. It's, you know, and, and it does appear that using Rufus, uh, hopefully everybody knows about Rufus. It's a wonderful prep tool that is able to take a Windows ISO and, and, and create a, a boot uh, USB from it. And it now has clickable options to bypass the TPM 2.0 check. So it's getting ever easier to install Windows 11 on non-compliant hardware. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security Now.